Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to GTA, and I'm pretty sure I know what's going to happen right now. Let's just walk over here, and we're going to get a phone call. Or a visit to the door. Oh, it's going to be Michael, and then we're going to get a phone call. Right? No, it's fucking hey, Devin. Like it's me. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey, you got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolyte. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns then. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you're going to A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C. Time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. <laughs> genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. Okay, so you got three wishes here. You got the death wish, kill Trevor, kill Michael. First of all, I like all three of these characters. I don't know how anyone could pick any of these. Like, I heard people are just like, oh, I killed Trevor, I killed Michael. I picked the death wish, dude. Let's do it. I did that last time, and I'm doing it again. Franklin. Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. Actually, I'm calling a goddamn cab. No way I'm walking all the way there. Hey, can I... Brr, 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 brr. All right, that's nice. <laughs> I'm half tempted to bring Chopped with me. Come on, cab. Step it on the car. Hey, that's good timing, man. Where are you headed, homie? Uh, shit. Lester's. Heights. Skip it. Make it fast. I think this is the last mission right here, guys. It'll say so in the title if it is, but I don't know. <laughs> That's the ride, my man. All right, my man. Thank you, my man. Let's go see Lester. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting, and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So <laughs> why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Well, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the. Um, oh, that angry that, um, rich fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know? I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay? But I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. 
Unless... Oh, I knew it! <laughs> okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. All right, this is the last mission. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, getting an LD. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? That's my favorite helmet, That's too. The fuck I to hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Alright. Let's go pick up Lamar. Oh man, I can't see anything through that. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, this is a really cool mission. And I think, um. Yeah. I immediately pick Death Wish because I'm like, well, I don't want to kill either of them. I like the game to end on a sunny note, you know. And uh, it's, I think that's the right decision. It's like the best ending you could ask for for this game. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure what happens if you kill Michael or Trevor. And to be honest, I don't really want to know. I like them They're both really good fucking characters. Pop, dude, do you ever change your clothes? Where are we going? We are uh, heading to the foundry place. All right. Word. Hey, look, hear me out, man. If it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dog. My boy's Oh, my God. Well, we trying to save him. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Oh, what a douche. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? <laughs> we ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, fuck off. <laughs> Every fool in this town got somebody who want them clap. Yeah, but that applies to some fools more than others. Look, man, Mike and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? I got it, man. I'll holler at you. All right. I remember this mission. It's quite lengthy. I love these two. <laughs> Where do you want me? <laughs> Alright, man. You go over there. Alright, where do you want me? You hold your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there. You're the 
building. Watch your sector. Chief, oh, you gotta wait. I think I'm gonna be Trevor. And Literally can't see shit from right here. Oh! Another Meriwether team coming in right next to me. Are they mine? We were waiting for you. Come on, come on. Where are you guys? Oh, there you are. Who did that? We're ready for you. Hey, hey, I don't think they see me, my nigga. They gonna run up on me. We got this. Go help your friend. All right, all right, I'm coming, dog. All right, let's go. Cover me, Trap. Ow! That's not covering me. They're covering me with bullets. Hold tight, dog. Please, hold tight. Go, go, go. I really don't want to have to replay this. Hurry up! If I didn't have to save your ass just once, <laughs> save me. Nigga, I just wanted some company. <laughs> That's funny. T, come in. I just wanted some company. Frank, I think T's in trouble. There's an FIB team where I last saw him and he ain't responded. Man, I gotta stay out here with Lamar. Can you get to him? Shit. All right, All right let's switch to something a little more. I'm looking for him. Tell them not to do that. That's gross. You're like, don't be coming in my house. Can you stop being an asshole, please? Where is? There you are, man. You had me worried. I was a little winded, all right. I took the DO. It's nice to see you so worked up. Next time I'll leave you to it. Watch out! Another FIB team on the way. What am I shooting at? They're like, it's locking on to something over there. Oh my god! This can happen! Be out here, dudes! Ow! What's a favorite? It's just a pile of fucking bodies. Alright. What do you want me to do about it? Are we clear? Yeah, all clear. Frank, we're clear inside. Move into the exits. Leather Phillips! I don't have any explosives, seriously. I'm closing him out. Hey, we'll get through this. Oh shit, I thought that was gonna hit me. That's insane. Awesome. 
Come on. That's the worst place to put a girder. No, 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 no. Keep your heads. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, you too. I got this guy. Hey, that could be all of them. Look, let's recruit by the big loading bay. You got it. Holy shit, that was crazy. <laughs> Huge firefight. <laughs> oh, looks like we did it. See it for now. Exactly, for now. So, what's next? Huh? Are we just gonna wait around till someone else comes to kill us? Or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned again? Oh, bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? <laughs> I know he's bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up the mark? Hmm? Stretch, we want to throw him in? Should Trevor throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust? Whoa! Hey, it's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're going to be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose I end. like that idea. Man, Stretch has been a liability. But they were going to have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get let's it clean. Let's do it. How about you get Lester on the line? Number. Hey, it's me, dog. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground with. <laughs> you, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes to start. And Devin Weston's ass. And, uh, Wei Ching. W E I C H E N G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. <laughs> And Franklin Fell Stretch. Huh. Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Shut it! Oh, I wanna die that fucker since the moment. <laughs> all right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the BJ Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk ass dad. When I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right. Get rid of Mr. Chen. And I can switch to anyone here. Um, Chen's far away, so I'll switch to, I think, I should have done Trevor, actually. Because his is probably the closest one. It's Steve Haynes. He's at the pier on... Um, Ferris field. I actually want to kill Stretch too. I'll go for Stretch. He seems like he's the closer one. My cat won't shut up. Dude, what's been with you? I won't close your fucking mouth for the last couple days, alright? <laughs> alright. Come on, Stretch. I never have any explosives with Michael. We ain't rolling on nothing. I'm clear. Your pal Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. See, he wasn't my pal. He was a total cactus on me. Thanks. I'm going for Trevor because he's probably a lot close closer to Haynes now than Oh yeah, he definitely has see him right near the pier. He's probably a lot closer to Haynes than Franklin is to Shen. Oh yeah. So 
doing this one's you can get it's kind of hard to get a good angle. Well, I wouldn't say hard, but uh. I'm moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos, a city of saints, a city of sinners, and nothing in between but the FIB. Cut. Ugh, this is crap. Who writes this bullshit anyway? Okay, all right. You got this framed right? Mm, yeah, you're looking great. Is the chin? How's the chin? Oh, sharp. All right, the audio's clean? Nice. Oh, well, say something. Uh, check, check, check. Yeah, it's great. Okay, fine. We're on. I'm ready. You ready? Speed. All right, let's do this, people. I'm a professional. Let's go. Oh. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. Hi, I'm Steve Haynes. I'm about to have a 50 caliber round in my skull. Oh fuck, this is really hard to see what the fuck I'm doing during the night. Is there a way to enable, like, night vision or something? Oh, there he is. I got him! Oh my god! The guy! What's his name? He shot him! Cool! Oh, lose the cops! Alright. 187, I'm a motherfucking asshole. That's what I did. Shot a douchebag in the face. You ain't catching me, bitch. Aw, oh, I can't switch to fragment. Oh. Well. Shit, shit, shit is right. I don't know. Kind of lost. Alright, cops coming that way, so I'm gonna go left. We're good. Lester, I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devin Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, the Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him at his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yay! <laughs> I'll go up there and get him. Who's next? I hit the boy chain. Don't worry, I'm on him. All right. This one's pretty easy, especially if you have sticky bombs, and I do. Get rid of Mr. Chang. You got it. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. <laughs> I love doing that. No. We ain't gonna have anyone to sell super weapons to either, but hey ho, <laughs> who's next? I'm picking up Devin Weston so we can have some fun with him. Now don't worry, I won't get started till we're all together. Not properly, at least. <laughs> okay. Go to Devin Weston's house and we're only a quarter mile away. Good. Alright, there we go. Devin has surrounded himself with Merryweather guards. Is that supposed to be intimidating? Let's hop over here. Attack is on! We got him! Where? Devin! Oh. Devin! Anyone else? Hmm? Ow! Hey! Keep your bullets to yourself, asshole. Devin! No, 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 no! I didn't realize that was a cliff. You have to go around the long way, I guess. 
fuck you. I just put down half your outfit back in town. That's true. <laughs> No. Oh, hey. Can't hide forever. Oh wow. I'm hurt. Let's earn our paychecks. Protect DW. But like Arthur's sister? God, that's such a bad joke. Oh fuck. Thank you. It says there's a guy right here on the same level as me. All right, Devin. It's just you, me, and Trevor's little buddy. By little buddy, I mean his penis. Where is he hiding? What do you mean all our operatives are dead? Oh, there's a paper scrap right there. Yeah. Wait, wait, oh! Uh, no more talking. Nice bullet wound in the middle of your chest, Trevor. Alright, let's get out of here. I hope Mary oh, I got fuck. Mr. West four miles. Take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliffs off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Alright guys, this is gonna take a long time. This video is going on for quite a while already, so I'm just going to fast forward through there, but if there's any dialogue in between that, I'll, uh, blah, 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 you know, I'll, I'll let it play, but, um, yeah, this is a long drive. Sorry. You don't have anything else to say, huh, Devin? No? You know, you're a, you're a resourceful guy getting past those trained killers. I need someone like you in my organization. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issue. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. You're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't. And the people who ain't gotta go. Me? I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> this is a serious offer. Work for me. You'll have everything you'll ever want all I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the kind of creativity I need on my team. Come on, come on, let me out of here. Look, I got my own company, Trevor Phillips Industries. Oh, yeah, a, a fellow entrepreneur. Let me buy a steak. I'll give you money to grow. I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich <laughs> right now, so you got precisely nothing to offer. Prepare for the end, my friend. You're dead! No, I believe it's quite the other way around. I'm so glad there's a straightaway here, because those roads were a pain in the ass. You don't want the fat man around either. This is why the people I put in my trunk are you. <laughs> Alright, how far are we away? 1.3? Come on. Say something else, Devin. Take the money. Let me down. I told them I wouldn't kill you. I didn't say anything about cutting your tongue out. This car isn't fast enough. Get me out of here. Oh. 
Yeah. Find a happy place, you <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Very true. Here we are, Slick, with a few minutes for some one on one time. A few minutes, you mean like twenty four hours? Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Good. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh, ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. <laughs> bitch. You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism of the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. <laughs> Offshoring? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't going <laughs> nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh yeah. Push. There we go. <laughs> no surviving that shit. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives as friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I don't know how to hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. I guess that's how you end a game, man. <laughs> Holy shit, it's finally here. The end of GTA 5. Ugh. So, there would be music playing right now. Kind of glad there isn't. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, uh, this game was everything I thought it would be, and then some. Um, uh, amazing! Like I hyped, I was hyped up for this game the moment I heard about it, and the, the first time I even saw the first trailer, I had no idea. Um, uh, it's, I'll just start with like the things I didn't like about it first, because um, first of all, they put way too much hype into the online. Um, I I couldn't wait for it.
But the second they said it's going to be ready two weeks after it released, I knew instantly it's there's something really wrong with it. Like it's unfinished. You know, something's not right about that. And um, I was right. The online just fell flat, in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> I was one of the few lucky people who actually was able to start a character without any problems. Uh, I got right in. It was great. But um, immediately there were loads of like uh, balancing issues with like economy and doing jobs. Uh, it took me forever just to make my first million dollars, uh, which is, I did the violent duct mission over and over, and at the time, uh, it wasn't cheating, because they gave you the option to retry any mission instantly, so I got it, and I, I would just play with my friends for like an hour or two, and we'd have loads of money, like tons of it, and it was great, they patched that, that's fine, I'm good with that, um, they even gave you like half a million dollars in, uh, you know, the, the like, uh, what is it? They gave you like half a million dollars as, you know, credit for, wow, we really fucked up. My character was also reset. I got him up to like level 20 and they reset him. I got to keep all the money and everything, but losing all that experience and all the guns and stuff, that really sucked. Uh, yeah, that was just fucking awful. Um, and on top of all that, the stuff they promised, like heists and being able to plan that shit, even in single player, they hyped it up too much because it's really not, it's either, you know, you do it right or you do it wrong. Uh, the percentages don't really make that big of a difference, in my opinion. Um, sure, it's like the difference between uh, on bigger jobs like the last one, uh, where it's like a couple million dollars, but you can make that money back uh, anyway. Uh, I'll skip the credits right here and we go straight back to the game. Can I do that? I don't. I don't really think I can. Yeah, I can. Um, we're gonna have like twenty million dollars with each character. Twenty-six million, actually, and um. Yeah, you can make that by just investing into the stock. What is this? The office. Okay. I forgot this. Tedious and predictable. We'll pay for the second home. Compromise is the language of the devil, and this fool loves compromise. Likes to think of self as big cheese, throws money around very freely, suggests sexual inadequacies, must investigate further. At times can be oddly, mor oddly moral and superior, just incredible avoids certain seeming behaviors unfortunately not all of them cares about family so not totally <laughs> yeah. greedy prone to gambling likes likely cause of addiction remember to sub up yeah man the only vice i really have is booze and talk <laughs> makes up stories about random killings at least i hope they're stories only robs with good reason or with some reason Ignores without spirituality, at least they don't over-exercise. Narrow-minded, distracted. I wonder if actually this, some of this stuff is like, uh, <laughs> things they're telling about you in real life compared to how you play the game. That would be cool. That is true though. Anyway, yeah, so, uh, multiplayer just kind of fell flat. It was still fun. I had loads of fun playing it, but, um, it definitely was overhyped and it was, it was uh, it was good. I mean, considering the single player is fantastic in this game. Um, yeah, online credit transaction. Look at that. Look at all that fucking money. Uh, all right, I guess it won't let me look at it. Look at it, damn it! Oh, there we go. Twenty-seven million. Holy shit! Yeah, amazing game. Um, I knew I was going to love it. I didn't think it would look this good, especially on, like, uh, um, on the, on, like, an Xbox 360. Damn, so we're clear, buddy. I wrote those brad emails, all of them. Your secrets are safe with me. I can reply to that and say something funny, but I'm running kind of long in this episode anyway. So, yeah, this was a great game, guys. Uh, if you're on the fence about buying it, uh, get off of it, because, <laughs> um, you're either going to enjoy the hell out of this game and you know it, or you're not. Which is kind of strange because I don't know who would enjoy this game. Um, it's great. It's really awesome. You can do so much. Um, it was. I, I really hoped. I was really disappointed from. Well, not dis. Well, I guess I was disappointed from gr the transition between San Andreas, where you could do a lot of things that you were never able to do in any other Grand Theft Auto game before. To Grand Theft Auto 4, where it looks way better. It's a lot cooler. I like the story a hell of a lot more in GTA 4, and. Um, 
I just liked it a lot more than San Andreas, but I was disappointed that you couldn't do even half the stuff that you can in San Andreas, and even a quarter of the things you can do in this game. So, yeah, this was a great uh, addition. I'm going to be kind of disappointed that I can't play this often, but in all honesty, I've played the ever-living shit out of this thing every single day, even when I'm not recording uh, since it came out. And I'm real looking forward to games that are coming up in uh, the coming months, so I'm going to get rid of all this crap for my console. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, once again, kind of sorry if I'm not going to be able to finish any of those other walkthroughs I started for a while. But considering I'm going to be moving on into games that most of you will probably play in pretty soon, I don't think you'll mind. Um, games I'm looking forward to? Destiny. Uh, I'm going to be pre-ordering that so I can get into the beta. Um, maybe record a bit of that. Uh, I'm going to get The Witcher 3, uh, Dying Light, Titanfall, um, loads of other games. I'm uh, going to be trying, I'm going to, if I'm selling all my 360 games, I'm going to have tons of leftover cash to spend on uh, um, games, hopefully. We'll see. Anyway, I'd like to thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, this has been a real pleasure to play through this game. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you on the Xbox One. Later, guys.